a huge development on Vince McMahon and when the date when he will take over the WWE creative reigns. Two WWE stars involved in a car accident that nearly took their lives and their two top former champions. Well, one's a current champion in the WWE. Here on this channel, we keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated with all the time, energy, passion, hustle I put into this. Please consider becoming a channel member today or donate in the comment section below by sending a super thanks below. And remember to share this video to Facebook and Twitter. So ladies and gentlemen, as it concerns Vince McMahon and him regaining control of the creative, ladies and gentlemen, according, and again, we always show the proof, the evidence, the facts. There is the proof, the evidence, and the facts right there, guys. For those of you who say I clickbait and do all this other crap, the fact is that it's going to be a key element with the person selling the WWE because we all know that the WWE is talking about being sold. Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez discussed McMahon's return and noted how McMahon could regain control of WWE and it would be, could be, without a shadow of a doubt, this year. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. The thing is with Vince is that if the deal was good for the stockholders with him not in charge, once it's sold, it's out of his hands. He's never getting back in. So he had to do a thing where I will not approve any sale unless it's the right terms. And they had to be that kind uh, to accept him back and pretend that everything is all COVID pathetic because he had said basically that any negotiations for the next TV deal or for the sale, if he wasn't put back in charge, he would hold it up. He would never agree to it. So it's kind of like they were handcuffed in a lot of ways. The idea of Vince taking charge and everything like that, I don't see that happening for a couple of months. I don't think that is happening this week or anything like that, but it definitely could go down sometime this year where Vince takes control of creative. Also, it was being revealed that both, even though they have bad blood between each other, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair were once friends. They were once together. They were involved in a car accident that nearly took their life, that nearly killed the both of them. So that is major, that is huge, and that is ginormous to know that Charlotte Flair and, and Becky Lynch, two girls that now hate each other, were once best of friends, were almost, they, they, well, no, they were. They were involved in a car wreck, a car accident that almost took the both of their lives. So we could see a WWE right now without a Becky Lynch and a Charlotte Flair. So ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. More to come. Keep it locked onto this channel for hourly news and rumors. Click that bell, subscribe. More to come where we always work around the clock for all of you.